David Hockney, Omakar Are is an English painter, draftsman, printmaker, stage designer and photographer. He lives in Bridlington, East Riding of Yorkshire, and Kensington, London. Hockney maintains two residences in California, where he lived on and off for over 30 years, one in Nichols Canyon, Los Angeles, and an office in Archives on Santa Monica Boulevard in West Hollywood. An important contributor to the pop art movement of the 1960s, he is considered one of the most influential British artists of the 20th century. Life Hockney was born in Bradford, England, on July 9, 1937 to Laura and Kenneth Hockney, the fourth of five children. He was educated at Wellington Primary School, Bradford Grammar School, Bradford College of Art and the Royal College of Art in London, where he met R.B. Kittish. While there, Hockney said he felt at home and took pride in his work. At the Royal College of Art, Hockney featured in the exhibition Young Contemporaries a Euro alongside Peter Blocky a Euro that announced the arrival of British pop art. He was associated with the movement, but his early works display expressionist elements, not dissimilar to some works by Francis Bacon. When the RCA said it would not let him graduate in 1962, Hockney drew the sketch The Diploma in protest. He had refused to write an essay required for the final examination, saying he should be assessed solely on his artworks. Recognizing his talent and growing reputation, the RCA changed its regulations and awarded the diploma. A visit to California, where he subsequently lived for many years, inspired him to make a series of paintings of swimming pools in the comparatively new acrylic medium rendered in a highly realistic style using vibrant colors. The artist moved to Los Angeles in 1964, returned to London in 1968, and from 1973 to 1975 lived in Paris. He moved to Los Angeles in 1978, at first renting the Canyon House he lived in and later bought the property and expanded it to include his studio. He also owned a 1,643-square-foot beach house at 21,039 Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu, which he sold in 1999 for around $1.5 million. Hockney is openly gay, and unlike Andy Warhol, whom he befriended, he openly explored the nature of gay love in his portraiture. Sometimes, as in We Two Boys Together Clinging, named after a poem by Walt Whitman, the works refer to his love for men. Already in 1963, he painted two men together in the painting domestic scene, Los Angeles, one showering while the other washes his back. In summer 1966, while teaching at UCLA he met Peter Schlesinger, an art student who posed for paintings and drawings. On the morning of March 18, 2013, Hockney's 23-year-old assistant, Dominic Elliott, died as a result of drugs drinking acid and alcohol at Hockney's Bridlington studio. Elliot was a first and second team player for Bridlington Rugby Club. It was reported that Hockney's partner drove Elliot to Scarborough General Hospital where he later died. Work, Hockney made prints, portraits of friends, and stage designs for the Royal Court Theatre, Glyndebourne, La Scala and the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. Born with synesthesia, he sees synesthetic colors in response to musical stimuli. This does not show up in his painting or photography artwork, but is a common underlying principle in his designs for stage sets for ballet and opera Euro, where he bases background colors and lighting on the colors he sees while listening to the piece's music. Portraits Hockney painted portraits at different periods in his career. From 1968, and for the next few years he painted friends, lovers, and relatives just under life size and in pictures that depicted good likenesses of his subjects. Hockney's own presence is often implied, since the lines of perspective converge to suggest the artist's point of view. Hockney has repeatedly returned to the same subjects, his parents, artist Mo McDermott, various writers he has known, fashion designers Celia Birtwell and Ossie Clark, curator Henry Gelsler, art dealer Nicholas Wilder, George Lawson and his ballet dancer lover, Wayne Sleep. On arrival in California, Hockney changed from oil to acrylic paint, applying it a smooth flat and brilliant color. In 1965, the print workshop Gemini GEL approached him to create a series of lithographs with a Los Angeles theme. 
Hockney responded by creating a ready-made art collection. The joiners, in the early 1980s, Hockney began to produce photo collages, which he called joiners, first using Polaroid prints and subsequently 35 mm, commercially processed color prints. Using Polaroid snaps or photo lab prints of a single subject, Hockney arranged a patchwork to make a composite image. An early photo montage was of his mother. Because the photographs are taken from different perspectives and at slightly different times, the result is work that has an affinity with cubism, one of Hockney's major aims a Euro discussing the way human vision works. Some pieces are landscapes, such as Pier Blossom Highway No. 2, others portraits, such as Kasmin 1982, and My Mother, Bolton Abbey, 1982. Creation of the joiners occurred accidentally. He noticed in the late 60s that photographers were using cameras with wide-angle lenses. He did not like these photographs because they looked somewhat distorted. While working on a painting of a living room and terrace in Los Angeles, he took Polaroid shots of the living room and glued them together, not intending for them to be a composition on their own. On looking at the final composition, he realized it created a narrative, as if the viewer moved through the room. He began to work more with photography after this discovery and stopped painting for a while to exclusively pursue this new technique. Frustrated with the limitations of photography and its one-eyed approach, however, he returned to painting. Later work, in 1976, at Atelier Cromelink, Hockney created a portfolio of 20 etchings, the Blue Guitar, etchings by David Hockney who was inspired by Wallace Stevens who was inspired by Pablo Picasso. The etchings refer to themes in a poem by Wallace Stevens, The Man with a Blue Guitar. It was published by Petersburg Press in October 1977. That year, Petersburg also published a book, in which the images were accompanied by the poem's text. Hockney was commissioned to design the cover and pages for the December 1985 issue of the French edition of Vogue. Consistent with his interest in Cubism and admiration for Pablo Picasso, Hockney chose to paint Celia Bertwell from different views, as if the eye had scanned her face diagonally. In December 1985, Hockney used the Quantal Paintbox, a computer program that allowed the artist to sketch directly onto the screen. Using the program was similar to drawing on the PET film for prints, with which he had much experience. The resulting work was featured in a BBC series that profiled a number of artists. His artwork was used on the cover of the 1989 British Telecom Telephone Directory for Bradford. Hockney returned more frequently to Yorkshire in the 1990s, usually every three months, to visit his mother who died in 1999. He rarely stayed for more than two weeks until 1997, when his friend Jonathan Silver who was terminally ill encouraged him to capture the local surroundings. He did this at first with paintings based on memory, some from his boyhood. Hockney returned to Yorkshire for longer and longer stays, and by 2005 was painting the countryside en plein air. He set up residence and an immense red brick seaside studio, a converted industrial workspace, in the seaside town of Bridlington, about 75 miles from where he was born. The oil paintings he produced after 2005 were influenced by his intensive studies in watercolor. He created paintings made of multiple smaller canvases a Euro 9, 15 or more a Euro plays together. To help him visualize work at that scale, he used digital photographic reproductions. Each day's work was photographed, and Hockney generally took a photographic print home. In June 2007, Hockney's largest painting, Bigger Trees Near Water, which measures 15 feet by 40 feet, was hung in the Royal Academy's largest gallery in its annual summer exhibition. This work is a monumental scale view of a coppice in Hockney's native Yorkshire between Bridlington and York. It was painted on 50 individual canvases, mostly working in situ, over five weeks last winter. In 2008, he donated it to the Tate Gallery in London, saying, I thought if I'm going to give something to the Tate I want to give them something really good. It's going to be here for a while. I don't want to give things I'm not too proud of. I thought this was a good painting because it's of Englanda. It seems like a good thing to do. Since 2009, Hockney has painted hundreds of portraits, 
still lifes and landscapes using the brush's iPhone and iPad application, often sending them to his friends. His show Fleurs Fra registered trademark chess was held at La Fondation Pierre Berger Copyright in Paris. A Fresh Flowers exhibit opened in 2011 at the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto, featuring more than 100 of his drawings on 25 iPads and 20 iPods. In late 2011, Hockney revisited California to paint Yosemite National Park on his iPad. For the season 2012 a Euro 2013 in the Vienna State Opera he designed, on his iPad, a large-scale picture as part of the exhibition's series Safety Curtain, conceived by Museum in Progress. Set designs, Hockney's first opera designs, for Stravinsky's The Rake's Progress at the Glyndebourne Festival Opera in England in 1975 and The Magic Flute were painted drops. In 1981, he agreed to design sets and costumes for three 20th century French works at the Metropolitan Opera House with the title Parade. The works were Parade, a ballet with music by Eric Satie. Les Mamelles de Tyra copyright Sayars, an opera with libretto by Guillaume Apollinaire and music by Francis Poulenc, and L'Infant et les Sortilages, an opera with libretto by Colette and music by Maurice Ravel. The set for L'Infant et les Sortilages is a permanent installation at the Spalding House branch of the Honolulu Museum of Art. He designed sets for Puccini's Girandot in 1991 at the Chicago Lyric Opera and a Richard Strauss die Frau und Schatten in 1992 at the Royal Opera House in London. In 1994, he designed costumes and scenery for 12 opera arias for the TV broadcast of Placido Domingo's Operalia in Mexico City. Technical advances allowed him to become increasingly complex in model making. At his studio he had a proscenium opening 6 feet by 4 feet in which he built sets in 1-8 scale. He also used a computerized setup that let him punch in and program lighting cues at will and synchronize them to a soundtrack of the music. Exhibitions, Hockney had his first one-man show when he was 26 in 1963 and by 1970 the Whitechapel Gallery in London had organized the first of several major retrospectives, which subsequently traveled to three European institutions. In 2004, he was included in the cross-generational Whitney Biennial, where his portraits appeared in a gallery with those of a younger artist he had inspired, Elizabeth Payton. In October 2006, the National Portrait Gallery in London organized one of the largest ever displays of Hockney's portraiture work, including 150 paintings, drawings, prints, sketchbooks, and photo colleges from over five decades. The collection ranged from his earliest self-portraits to work he completed in 2005. Hockney assisted in displaying the works and the exhibition, which ran until January 2007, was one of the gallery's most successful. In 2009, David Hockney, Just Nature attracted some 100,000 visitors at the Kunsthalle bei one quarter ith in Schwarzkarrenzi Bisch Hall, Germany. From January 21, 2012 to April 9, 2012, the Royal Academy presented a bigger picture, which included more than 150 works, many of which take entire walls in the gallery's brightly lit rooms. The exhibition is dedicated to landscapes, especially trees and tree tunnels. Works include oil paintings and watercolors inspired by his native Yorkshire. Around 50 drawings were created on an iPad and printed on paper. Hockney said, in a 2012 interview, it's about big things. You can make paintings bigger. We're also making photographs bigger, videos bigger, all to do with drawing. The exhibition moved to the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. Spain from May 15 to September 30, and from there to the Ludwig Museum in Cologne, Germany, between October 27, 2012 and February 3, 2013. From October 26, 2013 to January 30, 20 David Hockney, a bigger exhibition was presented at the De Young Museum, one of the fine arts museums of San Francisco, showing work since 2002 and including photo shop portraits, multi-canvas oils iPad landscapes and digital movies shot with multiple cameras. Hockney, printmaker, curated by Richard Lloyd, international head of prints at Christie's, was the first major exhibition to focus on Hockney's prolific career as a printmaker. 
The exhibition ran from February 5, 2014 to May 11, 2014 at Dulwich Picture Gallery before going on tour to the Bose Museum, Barnard Castle. Collections, many of Hockney's works are housed in Salt Mill, in Saltaire, near his hometown of Bradford. Writer Christopher Isherwood's collection is considered the most important private collection of his work. In the 1990s, Isherwood's longtime partner Don Bahadi donated the collection to a foundation. His work is in numerous public and private collections worldwide, including Honolulu Museum of Art, Museum of Fine Arts, Boston, National Gallery of Australia, Canberra, Louisiana Museum of Modern Art, Herm Liebeke, Denmark, Art Institute of Chicago, National Portrait Gallery, London, Kennedy Museum of Art, Athens, Ohio, Tate Gallery, London, J. Paul Getty Museum, Los Angeles, Los Angeles County Museum of Art, Walker Art Center, Minneapolis, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York, Museum of Modern Art, New York Center George's Pompido, Paris, Philadelphia Museum of Art, De Young Museum, San Francisco, Museum of Contemporary Art, Tokyo, MUMOK, Vienna, Hirschhorn Museum and Sculpture Garden, Washington, D.C., Smithsonian American Art Museum, Washington, D.C., Recognition. In 1967, Hockney's painting, Peter Getting Out of Nick's Pool, won the John Moores Painting Prize at the Walker Art Gallery in Liverpool. Hockney was offered a knighthood in 1990 but declined, before accepting an Order of Merit in January 2012. He was awarded the Royal Photographic Society's Progress Medal in 1988 and a special 150th Anniversary Medal and Honorary Fellowship in recognition of a sustained, significant contribution to the art of photography in 2003. He was made a Companion of Honor in 1997 and is a Royal Academician. In 2012, Queen Elizabeth II appointed him to the Order of Merit an honor restricted to 24 members at any one time for their contributions to the arts and sciences. He was a distinguished honoree of the National Arts Association, Los Angeles, in 1991 and received the first annual award of achievement from the Archives of American Art, Los Angeles, in 1993. He was appointed to the Board of Trustees of the American Associates of the Royal Academy Trust. New York in 1992 and was given a foreign honorary membership to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1997. In 2003, Hockney was awarded the Lorenzo de' Medici Lifetime Career Award of the Florence Biennale, Italy. Commissioned by the Other Art Fair, a November 2011 poll of 1,000 British painters and sculptors declared him Britain's most influential artist of all time. Art Market from 1963, Hockney has been represented by art dealer John Casmin, as well as by Annie Judah Fine Art, London. On June 21, 2006, Hockney's painting, The Splash sold for a £2.6 a million. Is a bigger Grand Canyon, a series of 60 paintings that combined to produce one enormous picture, was bought by the National Gallery of Australia for £4.6 million. Beverly Hills Housewife a 12-foot-long acrylic that depicts the collector Betty Freeman standing by her pool in a long hot pink dress, sold for $7.9 million at Christie's in New York in 2008, the top lot of the sale and a record price for a Hockney. The Hockney Folko Thesis In the 2001 television program and book, Secret Knowledge, Hockney posited that the old masters used camera obscura techniques that projected the image of the subject onto the surface of the painting. Hockney argues that this technique migrated gradually to Italy and most of Europe, and is the reason for the photographic style of painting we see in the Renaissance and later periods of art. He published his conclusions in the 2001 book Secret Knowledge, Rediscovering the Lost Techniques of the Old Masters, which was revised in 2006. Public life, like his father, Hockney was a conscientious objector, and worked as a medical orderly in hospitals during his national service. 1957 a Euro 59. Hockney was a founder of the Museum of Contemporary Art, Los Angeles in 1979. He serves on the advisory board of the political magazine Standpoint, and contributed original sketches for its launch edition, in June 2008. 
He is a staunch pro-tobacco campaigner and was invited to guest edit the Today program on December 29, 2009 to air his views on the subject. In October 2010, he and a hundred other artists signed an open letter to the Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport, Jeremy Hunt protesting against cutbacks in the arts. In popular culture, fashion, in 2005, Burberry creative director Christopher Bailey centered his entire spring-summer menswear collection around the artist and in 2012 fashion designer Vivienne Westwood, a close friend, named a check jacket after Hockney in 2011 British GQ named him one of the 50 most stylish men in Britain and in March 2013 he was listed as one of the 50 best dressed over 50s by The Guardian. Film, Hockney was the subject of Jack Hazan's film, A Bigger Splash, named after one of Hockney's most famous swimming pool paintings from 1967. Hockney was also the inspiration of artist Billy Pappas in the documentary film Waiting for Hockney, which debuted at the Tribeca Film Festival in 2008. Print, David Hockney, A Rake's Progress is a biography of Hockney covering the years 1937 Euro 75, by writer-photographer Christopher Simon Sykes. Radio, on August 14, 2012. Hockney was the subject of BBC Radio 4's The New Elizabethans, presented by James Naughty. In December 2012, the Sunday Times published for the first time works that it had commissioned Hockney to produce on a 1963 trip to Egypt and which had been shelved because of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Hockney had been paid in full but the works had never been previously published. Television, in The Sopranos Tony Soprano and his co-Mary Runa Peltzen discuss her painting that reminds her of David Hockney. David Hockney Foundation, in 2012, Hockney, worth an estimated $55.2 a million transferred paintings valued at $124.2 a million to the David Hockney Foundation, and gave an additional $1.2 a million in cash to help fund the foundation's operations. The artist plans to give away the paintings, through the foundation to galleries including the Los Angeles County Museum of Art and the Tate in London. Books by Hockney, 72 Drawings, Jonathan Cape, London, ISBN 0-224-00655-X, David Hockney, Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-09108-0, Travels with Pen, Pencil and Ink, Petersburg Press, New York. ISBN 0-902825-07-0, Pictures by David Hockney, Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-27163-1, Blue Guitar, Etchings by David Hockney who was inspired by Wallace Stevens who was inspired by Pablo Picasso, Petersburg Press, New York. ISBN 0-902825-03-8, Photographs, Petersburg Press, New York, ISBN 0-902825-15-1, Hockney's Photographs, Arts Council of Great Britain, London, ISBN 0-7287-0382-3, Martha's Vineyard and Other Places. My Third Sketchbook from the Summer of 1982 Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-23446-9, David Hockney, Faces 1966 a Euro 1984, Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-27464-9, Hockney's Alphabet Random House, London. ISBN 0-679-41066-X, David Hockney, Some Very New Paintings, William Hardy Gallery, Glasgow, ISBN 1-872878-03-2, Off the Wall, a collection of David Hockney's posters 1987 a Euro. 94, Pavilion Books. ISBN 1-85793-421-0, Hockney's Pictures, Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-28671-X, David Hockney, Poster Art, Chronicle Books, ISBN 0-8118-0915-3, That's the Way I See It, Thames and Hudson, London.
ISBN 0-500-28085-1, Secret Knowledge, Rediscovering the Lost Techniques of the Old Masters, Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-28638-8, Hockney on Art, Conversations with Paul Joyce, Little, Brown and Company, New York, ISBN 1-4087-0157-X, David Hockney's Dog Days, Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-28627-2, A Yorkshire Sketchbook, Royal Academy of Arts, London, ISBN 1-907533-23-0, see also, A Walk Around the Hotel Courtyard, A Catlin, Mr. and Mrs. Clark and Percy, David Hockney. A Bigger Picture in Bilbao. References. Further reading, Travels with Pen, Pencil and Ink, Tate Gallery, London ISBN 0-905005-58-9, Weschler, L. Camera Works Alfred A. Not V. ISBN 0-394-53733-5, Gelsler, H. Knight, C. Kittage, R. B. Schiff, G. Hoy, A. Silver, K. E. and Weschler. L. David Hockney, A Retrospective, Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-23514-7, Shanes, E. Hockney Posters Crown Publishing Group, ISBN 0-517-56584-6, Luckhart, U. Amelia, P. David Hockney, A Drawing Retrospective, Thames and Hudson, London. ISBN 0-500-09255-9, Livingston, M. David Hockney, Space and Line, Annie Jude Fine Art, London, ISBN 1-870280-74-1, Livingston, M. David Hockney, Painting on Paper, Annie Jude Fine Art, London, ISBN 1-870280-95-4, Livingston, M. David Hockney, Egyptian Journeys, American University in Cairo. Press, Cairo, ISBN 977-424-737-X Hogate, S. David Hockney Portraits, National Portrait Gallery, ISBN 1-85514-362-3, Melia, P. and Luckhart, U. David Hockney, Paintings, Prestel, Munich, ISBN 3-7913-3718-1, Becker, C. and Livingston, M. David Hockney, Swiridoff Verlag, Carl One Court and Zelsor, ISBN 3-89929-154-9, Sykes. C. S. Hockney, The Biography, Century, ISBN 1-84605-708-6, T. and Deveni, E. David Hockney, A Bigger Picture, Thames and Hudson, London, ISBN 0-500-09366-0, Sankar Sekina's new book South, published July 2013, consists of 12 article and essays. One of them, American Collectors, refocus on David Hockney's importance in the philosophy of art. Ref. ISBN 978-605. 4579-45-7. External links, Brooklyn Rail, in conversation David Hockney and William Cohen. Hockneypictures.com official website, David Hockney in the National Gallery of Australia's Kenneth Tyler Collection, biography page at LA Louvre Gallery example of work from the 60s to the present, DavidHockney.com tribute site, Salts Mill in Saltaire, Yorkshire, England contains a permanent exhibition of Hockney's work. David Hockney visits own exhibition at Nottingham Contemporary, BBC Nottingham, David Hockney on a Bigger Splash, BBC Nottingham, Interview with David Hockney November 2009, BBC Nottingham, Peter Getting Out of Nick's Pool at the Walker Art Gallery, Liverpool, UK, New York A discussion of Hockney's suggestion that the old masters used optical devices to aid drawing, Hockney leads smoking ban protest BBC article. Jonathan Jones, Cooler Than Warhol, More Enduring Than Freud, The Guardian, 
September 8, 2006, A. A. Gill, The Turner Surprise, David Hockney on Turner, The Times, June 17, 2007, David Hockney, The Fallen Beech Trees in the Lost Canvas, The Guardian, March 27, 2009, David Hockney's Long Road from Los Angeles to Yorkshire, The New York Times, October 15, 2009, David Hockney, Portrait of the Old Master, Tim Adams, The Guardian and Observer, November 1, 2009, Annie Jude Fine Art, Contemporary London Art Gallery that represents David Hockney, David Hockney, A Man Aflame a Euro, and long before the smoking ban Michael Church, The Independent, August 8, 2010, Hockney and Hearst Feud Over Assistance, Hockney Yorkshire Wills Art Locations, 1, David Hockney, I Am a Space Freak Video Interview by Louisiana Channel. David Hockney, Photoshop is Boring Video Interview by Louisiana Channel. David Hockney, Joie de Vivre Keeps You Going Video Interview by Louisiana Channel.